I knew, you know, I could feel it. Yeah. You get that feeling, yeah. That's yeah. why I was looking with my binoculars. <laughs> Steve, you're right, it did just feel like we were going to come right here. But that's also the beauty about not just racing off when you do come to a water source. You've got to spend some time and properly scan the area and Look give it a that. chance. would not see him at all. I think that's a young male. I think you're right in saying it's a young male. But blending in incredibly. Jeepers. Sure. It's your first time to South Africa? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, first time. You like? Yes. 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 <laughs> Perfect. Do you want to see? You have binoculars. You have. Ah, uh, well, oui, 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 No, it's pretty spectacular. It's amazing how you go through waves of of having opportunity in times where it just feels like there's an abundance of leopard around. Totally. And it's, quite often we notice it with a correlation with that and the lion in the area. When we have a lot of lion in the area, the leopards tend to be yeah. a lot more secretive and we don't see nearly as much of them. Yeah. And now with them having moved a bit south of here, um, it's like it's just opened up a corridor for them to be active and totally. a little less shy. The Kahuma breakaway pride right where Jackie's was. So there were just no leopards anywhere. He's apparently already stashed his kill in the tree. You can see that there's a bit of blood on his forelegs as well. A sort of chest area. Thank you. It's just behind the spotlight. Yeah. So picks up on that line. Is he home there? Oh my god. I sleep like my dog. Your dog. <laughs> yeah, he would like to at oh. least. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> 